Hi, I'm Lorna Clydman. Let's go over the basics of kettlebell sport today, starting with double arm swings. Now, kettlebell sport is fantastic to acquire endurance, cardio capacity, efficiency with your movements, and mental focus. So it's helpful to put an object in front of you a couple of feet. So when you go into your back swing, you can place your eyes on that object. That will keep your head in neutral and prevent you from extending or prevent you from being tempted to look in the mirror on that back swing. Now, with the double arm swing, we're not going to brace the lats. We're just going to create a pendulum and follow that pendulum. We're still flexing at the hips, driving our legs down to get that bell up, but we're going to create a crescent. So try to do the swing without bracing at your lats at the top. Just let it float up and let it come down on its own. Now take a look at my knees and see that in the back swing, the knees extend. I call this buoyant knees. This is very helpful to redirect the bell up out of its backswing. And you'll see how we're gonna use that for the swing cleans and the swing snatch. So one thing when people come to the swings in the beginning, something that happens is that they will swing the bell up and then just as the bell comes up, they'll start to flex over too soon. It looks like this. And then there's all this space between the arms and the trunk. And inevitably, the bell goes down closer to the knees than it should. So as the bell starts its descent, stay upright for just a moment. It's just a split second, but it makes a big difference. And as soon as you feel the armpit start to close and the bell is lowering, then you can flex over. And when you do that correctly, then the bell goes through, the wrists connect to the crotch, and that's your correct trajectory. In this way, you won't be taking the load into your low back muscles, but into your hips. Now, when we're going with high tension, heavy swings, it's appropriate to give that exhale on the power, the effort, which is the upswing. But when we're going for efficiency and endurance, minutes at a time, hundreds of reps at a time, the breathing is going to be a little bit different. We're still going to exhale on the upswing, but we're also going to exhale at the downswing. It's more of a sigh, letting the air out on the downswing. So listen to the differences in the two exhales. And the knees are buoyant. Okay, you're getting more air into your system and you're allowing the diaphragm to relax as you exhale on the backswing. Now it may seem like this is making everything so much easier, so what's the point? But wait, we're not at the party yet. We're just at the beginning. These are just the fundamentals. Later, when we get into the sport lifts, you'll see why all of these nuances make sense for the purposes of going many minutes at a time, many hundreds of reps at a time. So rep schemes you can use for swings would be maybe 15 to 20 swings and then 15 to 20 push-ups, and do a few rounds of that, pairing posterior chain with the swings and anterior chain with a pushing motion. Or you could do 25 swings and then rest for the remainder of the minute, and then go for five, six, up to 10 minutes, all right? So give these little changes a try, and I'll see you at the next one.